let's focus on trying to build our first automated data flow with Luigi. Hey there guys, welcome back to another video with me, Ben Rogjean, AKA the Seattle Data Guy. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on building a data pipeline, well, less of a data pipeline and more of an automated workflow in Luigi. Uh, for those of you who missed my first video, you can go back and watch the video on Airflow versus Luigi, where we kind of talked about these different automation tools. Uh, today, we're gonna to focus on scraping data from stock twits. Uh, basically, you can give stock twits some sort of stock symbol, and then you'll get back a bunch of information about people that are talking about uh, that stock symbol, uh, whether that be GME or something else. Uh, for today, we're going to be focusing on my darling, which is Warehouser. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Warehouser is a large uh, REIT. In particular, it is a wood REIT or lumber REIT. It basically owns a ton of land, I think, up in like Washington, Idaho area uh, with trees. And since lumber seems to be blowing up with the rest of inflation and so forth, uh, I think it's interesting to track who's talking about it and how much they're talking about it. So we're going to do our first data pipeline, scraping the stock, scraping the stock twits uh, API endpoint. And it's pretty straightforward. So let's get into it right now. We're going to dive in to my command line. All right, so we're going to focus on making our first task in Luigi. Um, so what you'll notice, again, we've imported three libraries just to start. Luigi, JSON, and requests, because basically we're going to send a request uh, to an API endpoint that will essentially scrape data from various social platforms on Warehouser. If you don't recall, I talked about Warehouser, I think in the intro, basically Warehouser is just a wood stock and being someone from Seattle, I feel like, you know, wood is something appropriate to own in stock. So if you recall the first video where I kind of discussed some of the differences in terms of Airflow versus Luigi, uh, you'll recall that you need to set up a class that's the actual task in Luigi. And that's what's gonna have the methods inside of it for things like output, run, uh, and requires. And that's kind of the various components in the task. So the output is the actual output of the task, usually in the run, the run uh, method will have that specific output. And then the requires, if you need it, will actually reference some other task that might be required to run prior to um, this original task. We're not gonna use that um, function uh, in this session, but we will in the next one. So let me just put together this class. So we're gonna have stock quick script twits. And then we're going to reference Luigi.task, oh, capitalized task. Um, and then from there, we're gonna say def, again, we're gonna have this output, oh, output and self. And then from there, we're gonna have this def run. Oh, self again. So basically for the output, we're gonna have this return Luigi dot local target. So this is going to reference some local file. And so this will basically be what we return. We can save this. From there, I'm gonna just go get the URL. I'm just gonna copy paste it so you don't have to watch me type it out. All right, so I've just copy pasted this because I didn't wanna to have to type all of it out. Uh, you'll notice we're doing WY, which is this stock symbol. You could do GME if that's what you really wanna do or whatever stock you're really into. From here, we're going to essentially, well, actually I'll call this response instead. Well, no, I'll call it content because I'm gonna kind of pull out the content from the response. So yeah, basically this is just going to pull out the content from the response that we're gonna get here in a second from requests. So we're gonna say request.get and we're gonna reference this URL. So for anyone who's not familiar, this is just an HTTP request using get. So we're gonna get back all of this JSON data. And then I think I need to say dot text. Let me see if that's right. All right, now that that's all set up, we're gonna basically uh, do the dumping to the file. So we're gonna say with self dot uh, put dot, oh, nope, self dot output dot open. Uh, and then we're gonna say W for write as F. So basically we're saying we're opening up this file up here, this raw JSON file, we're referencing it here and we're gonna write to it here by dumping all this data uh, as JSON. Now I'm just gonna copy paste this part again because it's kind of verbose. Uh, I had to do JSON decoder because it was really kind of just funky, gross data. From here, what we're basically going to do is just run this. So I'm gonna go over to um, my EC2 instance and we're gonna see this whole process kind of in play and see how it works. All right, so I've already got an EC2 instance set up with Luigi installed. You know, this is kind of like Rachel Ray's 30 minute meals. I've already got things halfway done just so that I know I can kind of go through this whole example without getting too caught up with mistakes. I'm sure I might run this and run into a few mistakes. All right, next we're going to just basically run uh, this Python path just for this one run essentially. And then we're gonna basically use local scheduler instead of actually running it like under basically Luigi itself. 
And what we need to do is reference the module and then the task that we want to run. So if you're doing it this way, so you need to basically say Luigi uh, test without the pi. Um, and then let me just go get the task name. And so this should in theory run. All right, you will see it's run. Um, it's run successfully. And so now if we go back and look at the data, we should have the data. So let me go switch over back over to the data. Share this instead. All right, so we've got this raw data JSON. Um, all right, so you should be able to see this data that we've pulled back. And so yeah, this is all the data that we've scraped. And basically what I'm gonna do in the next video is show you how to kind of aggregate some of this data. And then uh, I think in the third video, uh, after we set up like a requirements, um, we'll end up pushing it to like BigQuery or some other uh, database. So you can just kind of see that full example of like scraping and then doing some sort of basic transformation and then pushing it. So that's kind of the basic ETL. Um, again, this is meant to be a uh, very, I think, basic intro, but hopefully something that you can really use um, to do analytics. Because in theory, after I push this to BigQuery, you could create a dashboard on the other side that does some sort of analytics. Um, so I'm really hoping you see the value in terms of like big picture. Uh, again, just as a quick recap of what we've done, we used def.output to define the actual output file, which is this raw.json uh, that we were just looking at. And we use this other really quick script just to scrape data from this endpoint um, and then dump it to the file. Again, in the next video, we're gonna like take this, do some sort of quick transformation. Where we're gonna kind of count some data and then push it eventually to BigQuery. So again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.